So what is up diecast collectors? This is OVB, the diecast news guy, and welcome everybody to another NASCAR diecast review provided by my good buddies at Circle B Diecast. I guess you could say that's what the B is for Circle B, but yeah, make sure to use my promo code OBBYT if you guys want to get $6 off of shipping. That is a huge bargain, especially with how expensive everything is. So go on shop all right there. Pleasure of having Circle B Diecast providing us some great diecast. And today it is on Tyler Reddick's 2023 Jordan brand. Tony Camry for 2311 Racing or 23XI if you really want to get technical. But anyways, yeah, this is a very unique car that uh, I believe Tyler Reddick drove at two very popular races. And if you guys probably know the answer to that, feel free to comment below. But um, I'll give you one hint. It's not the Daytona 500. But anyways, let's go ahead and let's get on to our uh, let's get our jumping shoes on and let's get kick off this diecast review of Tyler Reddick's 2023 Jumpman car. And alrighty, you beautiful blue bastards, we got this diecast out of its box, and man, let me tell you what, if I keep looking at this thing, my face is going to probably turn the color of this shade blue, because man, it is, it, it is, I mean, it, it almost looks like I'm looking at a cloud, man. <laughs> I mean, that blue, it is crisp, it is clean, and I don't know, it, it I don't know, looking at this car, it just looks so calm. But can't really say that about the driver, Tyler Reddick. I know he has been very hot in this car. I mean, hell, he drove this car to answer your guys' question on what two races he drove this car in. Well, if your answers were the Coco 600 from 2023 and the Southern 500 finishing runner-up toward Kyle Larson, which ironically, probably the reason why I'm uploading this review is because guess what? For like, I don't know how many times it's been now, but Reddick finished second to Kyle Larson. Uh, and he was pretty heated after that Las Vegas race, I will say that, but this is, uh, getting back to this car, though, I mean, heck, he, uh, had a lot of crazy moments in this, but let me tell you what a crazy moment is, because we do have that outline issue right there, uh, by pointing this out in my, in my, uh, in my Ryan Blaney Menards reviews before, and I think on a few other cars that have, like, bright, beautiful, out of bases, for some odd reason, I guess, like, the decals, I don't know, they just come out, like, I'm not quite sure what this issue is, but it is starting to get pretty annoying because look, I mean, this paint scheme is so cool. It's so perfect. And then you get that Goodyear logo, which is just like, ugh. and then the 2311 logo, which is just like, ugh, even worse. Uh, almost looks like the, the almost looks like both those logos are like being suffocated or something, dude. But, <laughs> but still is a really nice car. I mean, you see, we got the on our remember tires, which if I'm not mistaken, they are, well, first of all, can you even read that says honor and remember uh, that, that, I, I, I kid you not, I swear to God, I thought it said honor my Valentine or something. Like, I, I, I thought I saw a V. I don't know. But it looks like there's blurry decals on um, on these tires because this is not looking pretty crystal clear. Now, I've noticed that this has happened for quite a while, but uh, that's pretty worrisome. I hope that's not like that on the 124, but yeah, this printing does look pretty suspicious. Blurry decals on a 164. Yikes. Yikes, yikes, yikes. Luckily, the paint scheme is pretty cool. I mean, you can't screw up this paint scheme. It's just a it's just a it's just a baby blue, right? Well, it's no ordinary baby blue. This, these are actually the colors. Uh, well, if anybody was actually from this college, I mean, congratulations. Uh, this is a probably a cool car to pick up for your college. But uh, uh, UNC. All right. If I remember correctly, uh, the University of North Carolina. Uh, yeah. I mean, hell, I don't really watch that much college sports, but I actually do remember, I, I think, this color uh, base one time. I don't know. I think I probably played, like, um, some random sports games when I was uh, a young OBB. But, <laughs> but yeah, really cool. So, like I said, if you guys are a fan of Tyler Reddick or, you know, 2311 Racing, or, I don't know, if you just really love the Jordan brand cars, which it seems like we're getting a good selection and a good collection going on, kind of like the shoes, but... Uh, <laughs> But now, getting on to the side-by-side -side comparison now, we are going to, of course, be going with the one of the most rarest cars you can get right now in next-gen form. So, you probably know what it is. It is the other Jordan car that was released from Kurt Busch in, in the year 2022. And this was his his final win with uh, with his uh, cup career. But as you guys see, of course, I mean, one is a race version, one is not. But these are not going to be the only two Jordan brand cars that are coming out. Following up after this, I think we are supposed to be getting his H-Wings uh Jumpman car released, and um, I believe there was, uh, I think, a few more others. I think the J Balvin one, I think, is still probably going to get made, if I'm, if I'm not mistaken. But there is one that I think is a 124 exclusive, and uh, all for the love of God. I, I think it's like some sort of, like, it almost looks like 
that, that car reminds me of the uh, the dustless blasting car that Matt Benedetto used to drove. If, like if I describe that paint scheme, but shoot, uh, I have a big forehead, but heck, I can't even remember what that paint scheme is. Oh god, I'm gonna feel like a dumb bat. But anyways, um, speaking of look, I'm feeling like a dumb blue bat. We are back to this car and. Going on to this, this is pretty cool. But you're noticing, well, first of all, that is a really bad paint chip right there. Yeah, well, I don't know. Okay, okay, I, I, have, I have so much PTSD with paint chips now, I thought that 7-Eleven logo was a paint chip. Wow, all right. Anyways, um, let's go back to the happy thoughts, Brian, because <laughs> this has been one hell of a review. Um, as you can see, those tires have just absolutely scrambled my mind. But, um... Yeah, you might feel like that this car feels a little empty. Well, it is, because if you notice where these black parts are, that is not Cheetah Train, my friends. I mean, sure, it's on a Toyota, so of course all those crazy boomers could be like, it's Gene, even though Hendrick does it too, and many other teams. But anyways, we're not going to get too crazy and all and get our, you know, never mind, I was going to say a bad joke, but you see the punchline right there. <laughs> The black bumper on this, as you can see, I'm having way too much fun in this review, but I guess that's what gets things interesting, and <laughs> hopefully you guys are entertained by this shit, man. Subscribe if you guys haven't already, because uh, this is something else, man. I guess you could say this is the pinnacle of the review, but there was supposed to be a Monster Energy logo right here, and we can't have Monster Energy uh, logos on any merchandise whatsoever because of a strict licensing deal with Coca-Cola. Uh, not quite sure what their deal is, but yeah, it's a shame because man, we have a lot of cool Talaretic schemes. Same with Ty Gibbs and now, I mean, unless you want to get sued by Coca-Cola, Lionel saying we're seeing all that, but I don't know, man. I would absolutely recommend picking this diecast up. Hopefully you just, uh, aren't going to be too distracted by the little quality issues that this car has, but it's a really nice baby blue and Man, I'm so glad that we're actually getting some uh, 45 diecasts because I don't know if you guys have noticed, 2311 Racing hasn't released any diecasts that came out for uh, NASCAR Authentics. Well, that's because of the same thing. I guess they are not doing that. If you guys haven't heard the news about that yet, it's the main reason is because uh, they just want their sponsors, I guess, to, I don't know, not be considered as toys. I mean, this is coming from Jordan Brand and McDonald's. So it's gotta go with the sponsors so that's all i'm gonna say right there but anyways i hope you guys enjoyed this nascar diecast review of tyler reddick's 2023 uh jordan brand or jumpman uh, toyota camry for uh 2311 racing comment like subscribe this has been obb the diecast news guy and kurt bush is right by there but yeah i'm gonna go and i don't know i'm gonna go i don't know buy some sneakers now so see you guys later <laughs>